All right. Today on uh, Make It Take It Outdoors, we're going to experiment with dollar store salt shakers and powder paint. Um, something I've never tried before, but I thought about it and kind of thought, eh, that might be original. Well, other people have tried it too. Um, I just couldn't find any videos on it. So I'm going to share my experience and hopefully you'll like it. try this out um, I've seen it mentioned on the internet I actually thought I came up with the idea of using a salt shaker with some powder paint inside and we're just gonna paint a pre-made spinner bait here um, we'll see how it goes I'm gonna heat with the air, the uh, heat gun here and then sprinkle the uh, paint on top and I've put a piece of paper down to catch the overflow so wish me luck Well, looks like a lot more came out than I expected. And it's a little, uh, not the most even surface. And I got one spot on the bottom here, as you can see, that needs some more paint. So, try to get that taken care of. All right, let me turn it off. I know it's kind of hard to see in the light here, but it worked. Not the most even coating. Um, as you can see on the paper here, quite a bit came out. There's a decent amount of powder paint on the uh, paper. So I'm thinking maybe if you had a screen in there or you just go back to dipping them like you normally do. But I wanted to try it out and share my results. All right, there you have it. Um, after I was looking at the bait for a little bit, I did, it actually smoothed out pretty nicely. So this might be a viable option for someone who uh, is just starting out and everything. Um, it does look like put a very thick coat on. I'm not sure if it'll be brittle after uh, baking, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to paint some eyes on it, um, throw a blade on it, I'll probably be, you know, casting it this week. Um, again, if you like videos like this, hit like and subscribe, please. Uh, notifications will uh, let you know when I do something else. I have, to apologize. I have to apologize for the traffic noise, but I'm out in my garage. I live on a major highway. So, again, tight lines. Thank you so much, and we'll talk soon. One last thought. I might try this again, but plug up a few of the holes so there's not so much powder paint comes out. I think that's it. Have a good one.